hyperscalers run the most sophisticated data center hardware in the world. Their requirements for decommissioning that hardware are growing more and more sophisticated and complex, which makes uh, decommissioning uh, more important than uh, it's ever been before. The data security, regulatory compliance, and fully traceable chain of custody are truly essential for these cloud computing behemoths. As data security and privacy in different regulatory environments make it so that these companies have to pay a lot of attention to how they handle their data bearing devices. At a high level, to run a secure, successful, and profitable decommissioning program, a decommissioning provider must deliver on two main value propositions. The provider must offer a comprehensive, maximum security chain of custody for each and every asset. There are a couple of key component parts within this requirement. First, every single asset must be assured that it has zero data on it. And second, every single asset needs to be tracked from the moment it gets wiped all the way through to its final disposition. And in order to do both of those things, a decommissioning provider must have a really sophisticated set of wiping software capabilities and they must have a really detailed set of processes by which the assets start in a client's data center and wind up in some final disposition, whether that be shredded or resold. And the client must be able to track and monitor the progress on an asset-by-asset -asset basis and receive the appropriate certifications along the way. If even one drive goes missing or one asset cannot be identified. That's a major data security problem. Many data center owners face the decision of whether to shred or wipe decommissioned drives. Historically, many of them choose to shred and shred on site because they believe that's the safest way to ensure that all of the data is physically destroyed at the point of removal. If you watch a drive get shred physically, obviously the data is destroyed. There are a lot of inherent risks in that process as well. If you're removing 50,000, 100,000 drive from a data center, you have dozens of employees and third-party laborers running around your facility pulling drives out of racks. Drives can get lost, you can lose track of assets in, in this process, and manually inputting tens of thousands of drives over the course of weeks naturally lends itself to risk. The most important uh, aspect of the work is to ensure the data is destroyed. Traditionally, on-site wiping has not been a good option for uh, these data centers because the wiping software that has been available to them is slow or not comprehensive. There are many wiping softwares out there that can only wipe 50% of the drives in a data center. So if you have 50,000 drives that need to be wiped and you can only wipe 25,000 of them, guess what? You still have to shred 25,000. So to offer a decommissioning service that's successful, one needs to guarantee that no data exposure risk will ever take place in a decommissioning process. And to do that, you need a mixture of truly world-class data wiping software and a set of processes that guarantees that each individual drive is tracked down to the serial number at every step in the decommissioning process itself.